You are joining the series called More Titanic Lies. The original series is on my other channel, Village Prisoner Set Free. This is a continuation of Titanic Lies. ...has always been a harbinger of ill fortune. The Great Eastern nearly sank on her sea trials and was involved in collisions and other ruinous difficulties. Many believe it was because her original name was changed to the Great Eastern. What was she originally named? The Titanic. The practice of christening a ship has always been a way of protecting a vessel against bad luck at sea. Yeah, the idea of christening a ship uh, started oh, around the Dark Ages, I believe not long after the Black Plague. Okay, this is Pellegrino. I already did a video on him or her <laughs> in which I focused on credibility. He claims he has a PhD from a university in New Zealand. The university denies it. New York Times wrote a retract. It says, no, he does not have one. It's a fake. So whatever he says, we've got to take and evaluate. Now he just mentioned the Black Plague. That's a hoax. Killed one-third of Europe. No way. No how. And even if something did exist, how in the blue blazes would they know it killed a third? They didn't keep records back then. Back then, folks didn't even have last names. <laughs> you can see I get quite passionate about refuting these lies and liars. Okay, so he's mentioning the possibility it came from the Middle Ages. And I also have done some videos somewhere on my other channels where I even question the existence of the Middle Ages, medieval times. I question it. That it even existed. A whole thousand years may have never existed which would take your modern date, 2023, and subtract a thousand years. So it really wouldn't be 2023, it would be 1023. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, back to this whole idea of christening. That's what I want to explore in this video, christening a ship. And he's saying that it originated in the Middle Ages. Probably not. It probably came from more ancient times. Ancient Greeks, ancient Romans, ancient barbarians. And it was done to invoke gods, false gods. And uh, originally it was rather a gruesome affair. Uh, for good luck, they used to sling an unbaptized baby against the uh, prow of the ship. Uh, they... Okay, is that true? I have found no evidence that it is true. I have found considerable evidence that definitely the practice originates in pagan customs and traditions of invoking gods, invoking them, almost as if it is some type of sacrifice. And some were said to have used the blood of bulls. Now, could it have been that they took a child and smashed it? It's possible because we know in ancient times that child sacrifice was real in the land of Canaan. Pagan culture, people who were under the power of the devil, sacrificed 
to their false gods, their children. So is it possible? It's possible. But most likely, it really didn't happen that they smashed babies against boats. However, smashing of the bottle is symbolic of giving it some type of a baptism. And at baptism, you give a name so that a christening is a baptism to give a name and also to introduce into the Christian church. I'll talk a little more about that. Cleaned it up a little bit as the years went on, went over to bottles of champagne, and at Holland and Wolf, they decided not to christen ships at all. They basically just uh, built them and shoved them out into the water without any christening. And some people like to claim, oh, that's why uh, the Titanic went down, that it was bad luck, and that's why the Titanic and the Britannic ran into bad luck. Okay, I'd like to talk a little bit about the Britannic. It seems to me that the Britannic is a hoax like the Titanic, that all the Britannic is is, once again, a mirror reflection of the Olympic. Now, the Britannic supposedly either got torpedoed or hit a mine, uh, in the Aegean Sea and was instrumental in being a hospital ship I believe in the years of World War I. So most likely they repeated the hoax but this time they used the Britannic name rather than Titanic. Getting back to the ship christening. Now, as he mentioned, supposedly the Titanic was never christened. Now, in the ceremony, it's the idea of like baptism of a child, and you give the child a name. And so the name bestowed comes at baptism, and it should be a Christian name. Okay, so supposedly Titanic was never christened. Now I want to look at that word christen. It actually is Christ N. Now the way they've divided it here, they put the T with the last um, grouping of of word of letters, but it should be Christ N. And breaking it down would be more of a putting it in Christ. So rather than breaking it here, you break it with the T, Christ in. In Christ. Put it in Christ. In other words, make it Christian. Make it Christian. Now, as far as linguistics go and pronunciation... The T is silent. So we call it christening. Christen. And we don't pronounce the T. But if you look at it and break it down, it is Christ in. To put in Christ. To make it Christian. And then, of course, the bestowal of a name. So this is a compilation of uh, women smashing the bottle against the boat. Now, once again, there could be something to this smashing unbaptized babies against a boat in ancient times. There could be something to it because oftentimes the, quote, christening of a ship is done by a female. As if to say, I'm giving up my baby. I sacrifice my baby and I smash my baby so everybody on this ship can be safe.
Okay, they are showing there uh, the christening done by women. Now I've seen ceremonies where it's not a woman, but that's a Pellegrino. We already know we can't trust him. We have questions about his credibility. Therefore, his statement may not be true. But I found the whole subject kind of fascinating. So that's why I included it in this series. They want to connect things with supernatural and mysterious things that happen in supernatural realm. And oftentimes people refer to superstition. So the superstition is that the Titanic was not christened. Because the Titanic was not christened, it sunk. But let me make a suggestion. It was never christened because it never existed. Therefore, you don't give a name to something that never existed. So that's the story on christening and the christening or lack of christening of the hoax boat called Titanic. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. This concludes the video.